Now, when you go home tonight, one of the things you're probably going to say to yourself, other than, man, that guy was tall, um, is how did he do some of those tricks? And I'll tell you, with mirrors. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's because you've probably never seen a magician's mirror before. That's because we go to great lengths to keep our mirrors hidden from you. I have mine in this bag right here. It took me six weeks to knit this bag, just so I could hide my mirror from It's quite an accomplishment seeing how I only had one needle. So could you just take that and take a look at the needle real quick? So this, my friends, is a magician's mirror. And I'll have you take a look at the bag right there, make sure there's no trap doors in there. So it's pretty much like any other mirror. You can see yourself in the mirror. It's reflective on the front, black on the back. Um, it is what I say it is. It's a piece of solid plate glass. So go ahead and tap it a couple times. You see there's no trap doors. It's pretty solid. Go ahead and try to bend it. Doesn't bend. See, it's, um, well, you won't be careful with that. That's seven years bad luck. So, <laughs> so any uh, secret doors or anything in the, in the bag that you can see? Nothing? Okay. Let me put this back in here. Now, like I said, this bag was made specifically for this mirror. It occupies the top, the bottom, and the sides. But when I want this mirror to exist, it will exist. When I don't want it to exist, it won't exist. Now, you know you can't bend glass, but this mirror takes on some peculiar characteristics. It almost looks like I can bend that mirror right in half. But I know what you're probably thinking. There probably wasn't a piece of glass in there in the first place. But there is, because this is all just a little illusion with a mirror that happens to cast your reflection. Thank you.